Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an easy fish cake using pig fillets. So let's start making fish cakes. So we're going to start making the fish cakes. I've got 400 grams of pig fillets and one potato to bind. I'm going to let this steam for about five minutes and then we're ready to make our fish cake mixture. So the hack and the potato, I only used one potato, has steamed and I used a fork and I flaked up the fish and I'm just mashing in the potato. The potato is just to bind, you could use bread if you want and you could use an egg but then it becomes too runny texture so I'm trying to keep it dry to let all our ingredients mix so you can make um, big fish cakes if you want cocktail sizes it's really up to you I'm just gonna be I'm going to be adding some black pepper, generous amount. Aromat, which is optional, just a little bit of salt, not too much, just for some taste. Some dry herbs, I'm using oregano. But that's optional and then I've got four medium chilies um, you can add how many you want and then some chopped up washed coriander so I'm just going to be using my hand and mixing all these through and once this process is done we're ready to start molding So we're ready to start molding our fish cakes now. I'm taking about a golf ball size, just compacting it and flattening it. You could leave it round if you want. And like I said, you can do your own preferred size. So that's the size I'm going for. So we're just gonna continue. So these are ready, I'm going to keep them in the fridge for 30 minutes and then ready to start the breading process. So I had this in the fridge to set for 30 minutes, just going to lightly dust them in some seasoned cake flour, not too much. Set it aside, we're just going to do them all.
so I've dusted them in the flour just gonna brush them with the egg now I have put some seasoning and coriander in here just very lightly we don't want too much of moisture I'm gonna set this back there this is very messy that's why I like to use my gloves known as a three-step breading. The flour does help the egg to stick properly and in frying it won't fall apart. So I've seasoned the breadcrumbs. Now ready to dust in breadcrumbs. Again, very lightly. I don't want too much of breading on this. I'm going to keep it light and simple. And best served with a light sauce with freshly cut lemon and a side salad or as a starter or a snack. Oops. Okay. Just gonna fix this. So we're done with the breading, we're ready to now cook them. Just gonna shallow fry them, but you could deep fry it. So I've got a medium sized saucepan, my, my heat is on medium, and I'm basically shallow frying this. You could deep fry it, you could pan fry it, but I prefer shallow frying. So I'm gonna test with this little one to see if the oil is ready. It's almost ready, but not right there yet. So the oil is ready, so it's nice to have a little sample to sample it out. Because if your oil is not hot enough, then it absorbs quite a lot of oil. I've got a little metal stainless steel rack here that I'm going to put the, the cooked ones in so it dries out nicely and doesn't absorb more oil. If you're putting it in a paper towel it will get soggy. So we want to keep these nice and crisp on the outside. I'm not going to overcrowd the pan. I'm going to try three at a time. Turning this five minutes on both sides. So if all the filling, the mixture on the inside is already cooked, doesn't need cooking. We're just getting them all together now and frying the outside to cook our fish cake. These are nice for your platters and bite size starters. So these are our fish cakes that's cooked now. I'm going to serve this with salad. These are the perfect size for my family. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today and I hope you're going to give it a try. It's quite simple. You could always make a head and freeze.
so yes please share and subscribe and tell me what you'd like to see me cooking and thanks for watching until our next video take care bye